Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he was. Must have meant a lot to him. He seemed very upset that he had to leave. I could tell. So how was your flight? It was good. Yeah, it was good. In school? It's fine. Hey, y'all, uh, you'll never guess who I met at the airport. Buck Williams. Or, sorry, Cameron Williams. From the news? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm Did you get a chance to talk to him? I did, actually. And he is, he's a great guy. Um, just so happens to be gorgeous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told him you were a fan. Oh. Mm hmm Yeah, oh, and by the way, you're not the only one who thinks every earthquake could be the end of the world. Some crazy lady cornered him in the airport. That's not how I meant that. Hmm. Anyway, um, he's a great guy. Chloe, honey, I, I don't mean to push. I know it must feel that way. I just want you to understand. This is important to me, and so are you. I just want you to be ready. Ready for what? Yeah. Never mind. Can we just talk without you cutting me off? Mom, I just got here. I'm not really up for a heavy conversation. Okay, sure, but just hear me out. Just a little. I have been praying for you to come home, and I believe that that is why God brought you here. What did you say? God brought me home? God did not bring me home. I brought me home. I bought the ticket, I got on the flight. God had nothing to do with it. And let me ask you something. If God brought me home for dad's birthday, then why did he let him fly off to London? Maybe because it's important for us to talk. I don't think so. One thing I do know for sure, God is the reason dad is not here right now. Get your stuff. Awesome. Can we go to the mall? Yes, we can. I heard there's an 80% off sale at GameStop. Crazy? What? No. No, I was just upset. Dad said Pastor Bruce was washing her brain. Oh, that's that's just a joke. It is? I don't get it. Neither do I. <laughs>
She'll be okay. Huh? Mom. She still wears that necklace, you know. The white lady. She never takes it off. They're gonna be all right, right? Mom and Dad. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Dad just got called into work. There's nothing you could do, okay? Did Dad tell you about my game? Are you kidding me? You're all we've talked about. He said that you were the greatest baseball player in the whole world. And you know what? What? He's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thanks, you, buddy. <laughs> They're all gone. Not just the babies, the older kids too. Are you sure? I'm looking for my brother. I heard some doctors talking a while ago. It's not just here. It's everywhere. All over the world. They said no one's seen a single kid since it happened.
that. Your seatbelt. Charlie, 1581, you are in our airspace. I am climbing 1,000 feet. That is one, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> understand you were here every day you worked here you preached here that's not what counted what do you mean i knew the words i could quote them chapter and verse but that's not enough you have to believe <laughs> believe believe in what in a god that killed my father a God that grabbed my mother and my brother and ripped them out of this world? A God that crashes planes and destroys cities? He took them to protect them. From what? From the darkest time in the history of this world. Persecution, war. And seven years of darkness, he took them to heaven. And what about the rest of us? What about me? What am I supposed to do? It's not about what we do. It's about asking for forgiveness. It's about turning our lives Stop around. it! The God my mother talked about would never do something like this. Chloe, please, listen to me. Listen to you? Why should I? You didn't even listen to you. 